So the idea of beauty is a complicated one, and then we have to stop and think, what kind of things do we think of when we begin to discuss art? Uh, we can look at the various medias or the different methods used to create uh, images. Certainly there's a drawing, all different materials can be used to create drawings, or painting, paintings of, of all different types, uh, murals and frescoes and watercolors and oil paints, those are all different medias. Those certainly create works of art. And sculpture, things that are three-dimensional, have a history uh, as art forms. And architecture, uh, the idea of manipulating space to whether it's to create a living space or to create functional spaces for, for different activities or spaces that are considered sacred. Uh, architecture is also another media or another method of creating art. And then we have modern day things of the last um, 100, 150 years perhaps. Uh, things like photography, that certainly has evolved into an art form. Film, huge uh, emphasis on the art of filmmaking in our current society, and digital art of all different forms. Uh, so there are lots of different ways we can create art. Now, when we think about art, maybe we just think about things that are decorative. What kinds of things might we think of? Jewelry is certainly an art form, and you can look at a, at a piece like this and ask yourself, do I think it's beautiful? Well, maybe the answer is yes, you think it's beautiful. Or maybe the answer is, oh my gosh, it's too big and too gaudy, and no, it's too much. Both are valid opinions. So whether you think this is beautiful or not, what are we really looking at? Well, we're looking at something that is well-crafted, the skill that it takes to create this piece of jewelry, exquisite detail. Uh, maybe we look at it and identify that it's a crest. There's uh, those little lions on either side of the crown. This is a crest for a royal family. Um, so maybe if you were part of that family, that would sway your opinion as to whether you found beauty in this object or not. Um, certainly, if you are interested in gemology, um, this is a, a beautiful example uh, of a yellow diamond. It's, it's considered one of the largest perfect yellow diamonds in the world. Um, so whether you find it beautiful or not um, depends on a lot of different things. Okay. Uh, same with these objects. These also are jewelry making techniques. These are Fabergé eggs. Uh, they were made for the children of the Russian Tsar the last century. Um, exquisite detail, beautiful craftsmanship, uh, actually made of gold and emerald and uh, pearls, precious stones and diamonds, and they were made as toys. They're beautiful, they serve a function as a toy. Are they works of art? We can also look at things that are functional. Uh, certainly functional pieces have a, an important role in the history of art. Uh, many of the earliest artifacts we have are baskets and bowls, things that people uh, made for a particular reason, and then they decided that just having the basket or the container was not enough, that we needed to embellish it, that we needed to somehow make it more appealing. And we have religious and ceremonial objects that have uh, are functional. They serve various purposes in, in in a different religion, whether it's a statue or a chalice or um, a temple. Um, these ceremonial pieces have importance in various cultures at various times, and we also have these artifacts or these works of art to consider as well. Okay, And here we have a good example of something that is functional and decorative and has some sort of other real important meaning. Um, these are ceremonial samurai swords. They come from a tradition that is rooted in honor and valor and strength. They are handcrafted out of the finest of materials, uh, ivory handled, red lacquered, uh, silver tipped, and of course the, the blades are finely honed. But when we look at the purpose uh, as, a, as a weapon, as a, as a tool, uh, is it necessary for it to be ivory handled and silver tipped? Is the idea of a beautiful piece important 
if the function is to use it as a weapon. In the case of the samurai, uh, the beauty and the craftsmanship is, is important. Uh, it represents the importance and the status of the warrior. It represents the fact that he would have had access to the finest craftsmen and the best materials, and that these objects were an integral part uh, not only of what he did, but who he was and how he was seen by the people of his era. Now, we can look at something as functional as transportation, and certainly car design is an art form. Now, we can look at a, at a beautiful red sports car, and uh, a lot of thought went into uh, making it look sleek and fast and expensive. Or we could look at another style of car, the classic car, again, elegant and a symbol perhaps of wealth or of privilege. And then we can look at a totally different style of car, uh, the Yugo, functional, small, inexpensive. Um, all of these objects are functional. All of them are designed and conceived and produced with the idea that they look a certain way and that they convey an idea to the viewer. So we have things that are functional and we can have things that are decorative, but what if we have something that is totally different? Uh, is there something that isn't really functional or isn't really decorative and is that a work of art? Well, we can go back to that little Yugo and those little inexpensive cars in the late 1980s were handed out to a bunch of design students who were then told And these are some of the things that they came up with. These happen to be on display at uh, Central Station in Washington, D.C. And they were amazing to look at. They worked. You could use, uh, use the, the one at the top. You could shoot the little ducks in the shooting gallery. You could play the slot machine. The toast popped up. The accordion played. Uh, the you go on the the left here filled up with water and the little floating ducks filled the, the bathtub and the shower. And there were some pretty exciting foosball games going on and you go on the, on the right. Lots of innovation, lots of ideas. Now certainly these are interesting to look at. Uh, they're the work of art students. They have a visual impact. They're not exactly functional. And they're not exactly decorative. Um, but maybe art is encompass encompasses a lot of other things as well.